Henry, we were on Marlon Clyde before, who is a special guest and a friend of mine, Dusty Manishaw from I Wars and Treasure Around. How's it going, man? Awesome. Awesome Olympia weekend. Yeah, thanks for coming on the show. We're sort of breaking some new ground here in that you're the first guest that we've had sponsored athlete for another company. Right. And uh, I mean, I told you the deal with that. We're trying to you know, get everyone cooperating and cross over and get info entertainment. I slipped and fell and won. I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it away. <laughs> so, so uh, you know, how do you feel? Do you call yourself by MVP Pro? Have you changed all your Instagram names to Dusty Hedgehog MVP Pro yet? Actually, that's a, an interesting thing because it's one thing I never understood. Yeah. I was like, my name doesn't change, so I'm just going to leave it alone and call yeah. it that. I figured if you become a pro, people will know. I looked at Jay Cutler's, just says Jay Cutler. <laughs> I know he's a pro. We'll leave it at that. Right. I went to that one, I know. Uh, so, you know, what about you know, the whole ordeal? I know your wife's been there with you through the whole thing. And, you know, so many supporters and I force. I mean, it was, did you sense this feeling of just mass relief amongst everyone around you? Or how did it go? Actually, I mean, you know how it works. You do a show. Essentially, after prejudging, you know what's going on. You got a tall guy, basketball player behind you eating. And, uh, <laughs> and that's a three pointers or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, you know, you finish up a show, and after prejudging, you kind of know where you stand. And I saw I had a pretty good idea that I was going to win. So at that point, you start thinking, I was thinking for the next show. I was like, oh, I got to do this and this. I kind of picked the show in my head. I didn't celebrate the win because obviously you don't know until you hear your name. But to me, it's, it's the process, you know what I mean? It's yeah. a never-ending process. So it was, it was a relief to win, but everybody keeps saying, you know, how do you feel? I'm like, like I need to get my legs a little bigger? I don't know, you know? Do you, are you surprised how you feel? Did you think you would have this, like, how you're wondering this? You don't really know, but because so many people ask you, you're like, I feel like I'm getting to eat now, that's cool. You know, but, but actually what was, what actually caught me off guard was the response. Because by the time I went from the stage, I hit a couple of interviews, got to my phone, I had 100 text messages. Of course, social media was nuts. I opened my email, and I was like, okay, I can't even respond to all these people. Yeah, but it was, it was awesome to see how many people cared. Yeah. You know, because like I was telling you earlier, I had, I had a fan from Canada come up and say, you're like the American Ron Partlow. We were wondering when you were gonna win. I'm like, it's only been four years. I'm when Dave has a, like, almost become an urban dictionary term. That's someone. <laughs> almost, almost. almost. <laughs> I know. No, but uh, what about I Force? Um, you know, I, I mean, I love you guys. You guys have a great team. You're very hardcore with the guys. And, you know, like when we were at Temple Gym, yeah. Body Power, you know, Mutant shows up, and the only other guys there, you and Jose. <laughs> You know, I mean, I sat down with the owner a couple of years ago and asked him where he saw it going. I mean, I was the only guy, and I was like, are we going to bring in, like, a pretty guy, or are we going to bring in a bikini girl, or... Right. And he's like... Are you going to be that one guy who wants to see a bikini girl? Well, yeah, I was just wondering what was going to happen, because you got, you're thinking it's going to spread out. Yeah. He's like, well, we're going to bring somebody else in, and then last offseason, I get a text, he's like, I found the guy. I was like, who? He's like, Jose. I'm like, oh, we're yeah. hardcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, so he, he stuck with that, and what I love is he, he gets it like you guys do. It's like fans of Mutant are going to be fans of I Force. They're going to be fans of Jose. They're going to be fans of Johnny. So why pretend like it can't coexist? You know, I, I mean, if, if your fans are saying you're the American Ron Barlow, we know there's crossover. Hey, everybody that I know follows you. They all right. follow your stuff. Like we're talking about uh, the Muppets. <laughs> you know, famous mom. You know, and everyone, you know, everyone knows that uh, Chris Cena likes, you know, he likes to use some junky cars when you need them real quick. Yep. And uh, the muffins are just kind of easy. Um, you don't have to make them. You can just buy them. And uh, where everyone sees the muffin, muffin mash, man, hashtag on Jose's pictures and your pictures. And, you know, we all have a lot about it. But, I mean, Chris played an enormous role in, in your journey. I mean, when did you actually start working with him? I actually hit him up in late 2009. 
Um, and basically, I was off an injury, surgery, looked like nothing. And I oh, what was your injury? I had uh, two hernias. Okay. But the problem wasn't even the hernias. It was because I couldn't train, I could still eat. And I did that. <laughs> I did that well. So I got nice and round, not where you want it. But, uh, so I sent the pictures and said, look, I'm not a genetically gifted person, but I'm a little crazy. I'll do whatever you say, take me. And I didn't know if he would work with me. I mean, I had no name, won a couple of regional shows, and he's like, sure. And then we fast forwarded to Junior Nationals and I was a different person. You know, and, and following his advice and continue to follow it, I mean, every year people say, are you still with Chris? And I'm like, I'm still bodybuilding. Right. If I stop bodybuilding, I won't be with Chris. Maybe I still will, I don't know. But I'm never working with someone else. Yeah, never. especially at this point with what you guys have been through and how well you know with your body and, and how well you know him. Because I think a lot of people, when they work with a trainer, they just sort of expect um, this magic to happen. But there has to be this communication. Yeah. And, and I, I know what you mean. Like, I, with, you know, the text messages with Chris, how they're sort of cryptic, but he knows exactly what you're saying and you know exactly what he's saying. And when you get that sort of communication going, it just changes the dynamic of the prep. Right. You know, would, this, would you say this was your best prep or was this one a struggle? This one was really, really smooth because I owned my own business before. I sold those early in the year, so I actually had about 10 weeks to just buy them. And it was amazing how much easier that made the process. Plus, having Chris, like as you know, if you work for him a bit, no one cares more about their athletes than he does. I mean, you'll be driving home at midnight, which is 3 a.m. his time. How was legs? Why are you awake? You right. know, and how did you know I trained legs today? But I mean, and he's that way with everybody. Same story to people. Yeah. yeah. I mean, in, in every athlete I talk to, same thing that works with Chris. I mean, I've been in a hotel with Jose. I'm texting Chris from Germany, and so is he. I'm thinking. Are all of his clients hitting him now? I mean, <laughs> right, right. how do you keep him straight, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's, he, he's definitely the, the secret behind, I think most guys' success, they work with him because if there's one thing you don't have to do, it's work. Chris has got it, I don't think. Well, the thing that I like the most about Chris, and then we'll stop, we'll stop with the Chris talk. All right, the, thing I, the thing I like the most about Chris is he's at the show for you. He wears the same clothes for two or three days. Doesn't sleep. Um, sits in the back row, incognito. He's not out trying to hustle more work. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I see other people do that, and I just think that's not Chris at all. Chris is like the guy in the shadows and doesn't seem to even care if he gets credit. Yeah. And uh, that's what tells me really loves it. So I mean, when we work with a guy like you that has all the heart in the world. You know, that's what happens. You get yeah. find him with the program. Eventually. <laughs> so now tell everybody, how can they find you? How can they follow you? And what's up next for Dusty Hanshaw on BB Pro? Well, we've got, of course, all the social medias. So Twitter is just Dusty Hanshaw 08. It's my Twitter. And of course, Dusty Hanshaw on both Facebook and uh, Instagram. And then I do, do my own personal YouTube page. So everything's on iForce TV. Okay. So I just like, we brand together. Like iForce is Dusty, Dusty is iForce, and that's how I've always wanted it. I didn't want to break away. I'll retire as an iForce athlete. There's no choice about it. So those are kind of the places. And then the plan for me is, the physique will not get prettier, so it has to get bigger. So I'm going to take another a full year off, and I'm going to hit the Phoenix uh, Pro Europa in October next year. Mainly because I'm lazy, and it's like 20 minutes from my house. So <laughs> done. Easy okay. choice. No, no, no. You make your debut and you sleep in your own bed. When I know my restaurants, yeah, and I'll get right in no matter how big you're there. All we're all best muffins <laughs> are. Exactly. <laughs> Dusty Hanshaw from Iron Horse Nutrition. The newest pro. I am the newest pro right now. The newest pro. For Thanks just for a coming on. It means a lot, man. Appreciate I'm really glad you came on. No we're doubt. Happy to have you on the live report. Big Ron Barlow. Dusty Hanshaw.